Hey everybody, it is Quicken and welcome to my Halloween special. Today I'm going to show you all of the Halloween costumes I wanted to be and came up with inexpensively or free with stuff around my house just by portraying iconic characters. I did have a Scoops Ahoy costume that maybe I'll include in this if I need to title this video like 25 costumes! But really, I kind of just sat down and brainstormed costumes I always wanted to be, and that's what they are today. So I am going to show you basically a speed round of all the costumes I wanted to be this year, and how you can achieve them yourself really basically inexpensively. I'm super cheap. And I had a lot of fun making these costumes. My skill level is definitely intermediate, girl. So hang out with me today and I'll talk you through all of the Halloween costumes I prepared for you guys for Instagram, whatever, this year. So the first costume I thought I was like, what's iconic, you know, what did I really enjoy? And I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Rosie this year and I really liked it. So I thought I would go for like this hippie kind of Hollywood and I had two takes on it. One would be like the Manson family member when in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, they go to that like ranch. You can kind of see that all of the outfits here are pretty cool, pretty like 70s hippie. So I just kind of like picked one of the girls who had clothes kind of like something I already have. And then I thought that I would do like a Margot Robbie edit and kind of make it a little bit more refined. I have these bell bottoms that I feel like really powerful in. So I just had this like 70s Hollywood edit. I had these really big sunglasses and I just feel like this is something that like literally anyone can pull out of their closet. And if they're like, oh, you know, I'm a character from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, people will be like, oh, I love that movie. It was very long. So my next costume is Lady Gaga on the cover of Joanne. This might feel really random, but I actually watched the Lady Gaga documentary, the one where her boobies are in it, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I would throw her in there. I had this hat that I actually use again in this video, and I just used like a little nude bra because she is topless on the cover. So little nude bra, and then you just like hang out sideways. I had kind of a hard time getting her exactly right. So if you were to pick this for just like an Instagram kind of flick, a little practice, I feel like, a little mirror set up so you can get it just right. Obviously my hat is red and not pink. So if you were doing this for Instagram, you could Photoshop it or something. I don't know how to use Photoshop, but you know, figure it out if you care a lot, but you know, people consume Instagram content at like one fifth of a second, so I think you'll be all right. Next, this was a pretty big year for 90s nostalgia and me, I think. I feel like if I'm not bringing it up in an episode of something, I'm dedicating an episode of something to it. So this year I grabbed a little Carmen Sandiego getup and it was really, really easy. Um, I just paired a yellow turtleneck with this oversized red flannel that I have and I just belted it. It's kind of all about the hat and an element of mystery. So if you can be mysterious and you also have a hat, you can really just nail Carmen San Diego. So that was an easy costume for me. Next, iconically so, I had to have a little Ariana Grande moment. So Ariana Grande's costume was pretty easy for me because I already had knee-high boots. So I just found a picture of her online that kind of coincided with some clothes I already have. The whole outfit was pretty much inspired by the fact that I had knee-high boots and a felt tip eyeliner. <laughs> so I found this picture of her with Pete Davison where she's eating this lollipop and I went absolutely nuts for this photo. So I had an oversized mustard pullover and I just drew some winged eyeliner and then just overlined my lips a little bit and put my hair in a ponytail. If I wanted to go all out, I would probably get extensions or like brown extensions to have a major ponytail, but I'm not in a Halloween contest. It doesn't really matter to me. So I just gave myself a really high ponytail and made sure I put one of these little barrettes in my hair. And that was my Ari edit. I just like, I just like Ariana Grande's music. I, no tears left to cry, 
help helped me. Next, I was a comely witch, or if you follow me on Instagram, you're way ahead of the curve on this one. So I had this t-shirt dress, which kind of reminded me of Kiki's delivery service and these hats they sell at the Dollar Tree. I had this hat last year when I did my witch look for outfits you can wear to work for Halloween, work appropriate Halloween costume outfits if you wanna check that out. So I had this hat left over from last year that I got from the dollar store. So I thought I would dress it up and wear sort of like a stylish edit on a like Halloween look. Something that like somebody who is maybe shy or has to take the train to the Halloween party, something a little dialed down that you can accessorize when you get there. That was the headspace I put my myself in for Comely Witch. So just this little t-shirt dress and then black lipstick. I rarely reach for the black lipstick, so I told myself, you know, wear the black lipstick, be the witch you wanna be. So I teased about it in one of my videos that I would use this turtleneck for my e-girl costume, but then here we are. I think e-girls really had a moment this year and I had my e-girl transformation video that everybody hated. But I really like it. I think that e-girls are like a cool, powerful, like, play on internet culture that can sometimes feel like it's dominated by boys. So e-girls are cool and powerful and I have this wig. So this was my e-girl take with the little barrettes and I drew the hearts on no problem, unlike my e-girl tutorial. So I went for her and e-girls are cute. They're sassy, they're funny. And I think if you were an e-girl to the party, it might seem a little cheesy, you might seem pretty old, but at the same time, if you're taking the train to the party, sometimes you just gotta wear normal clothes. <laughs> Next was Marla Singer. I had a true Fight Club, like, what is it, craving. I had a crazy Fight Club craving recently this year and it like, I became obsessed with it all over again, which I feel like I fell out of it because liking Fight Club was like cliche. And then I fell back into it because everything's there. Marla Singer is one of the coolest characters I've ever been infatuated with. And reintroducing myself to that movie and that book and that franchise was so fun. So earlier this, month I was Marla Singer just for an Instagram kind of moment and I asked you guys if you wanted me to recreate the look and it's so easy that I didn't wait for anybody to say yes I just did it. So in order to capture Marla it's kind of hard to find pictures of her online so if you have Fight Club maybe take some screenshots yourself of looks of hers you really like. So I decided that she has a purple smoky eye and some like haphazard lipstick and her hair. I have pretty long hair, so getting Marla's hair perfect just took a ton of bobby pins. My approach for Marla's hair is to grab a piece of hair, almost like you're disgusted with it, like, ick. And then when you have this little ick, you pin it. And I just did that for my entire head until my hair was short enough to look like Marla and I gave myself the little donut in the middle that she has. And I just readjusted it over and over again until it looked the way I liked. I feel like to channel Marla, you can find an old pink dress at the thrift store. If you bought that 11 dress a couple years ago, you could use that. Like, I think Marla, the great thing about her is her energy is so chaotic, maybe in Aries, that you can kind of just dress any old way and just be Marla. I think if you went to a party, if you don't smoke cigs, you'd probably have to tell people that you're Marla, but once it's out there, once it's there, once people remember that that movie's actually a bop. She's infectious human waste! That was Marla Singer. And I think all of us should be Marla Singer for Halloween. I'm sorry. She's infectious human waste! Transitioning out of Marla, I was able to <laughs> use basically that hair, basically that makeup, opposite attitude to be Robert Smith. 
I always wanted to be Robert Smith for Halloween. He has been the angel in my ear for the last couple years and just the vibe was perfect. Once I was Marla, it was so easy to kind of just pick apart my hair and hairspray it and just add makeup. So Robert Smith's makeup goes up to his brow bone. So I just packed black eyeshadow on top of my Marla Singer eyeshadow and then just blended it until my brow bone. You don't want to be better at makeup than Robert Smith, so you can go into this like pretty haphazardly. I rarely wear black eyeshadow. You'll almost rarely see me in a smoky eye. So keeping that in mind, don't, don't be better at makeup than Robert Smith was fine. I just used some red lipstick and I should have underlined my lips because no shade. My lips are a little more fuller than Robert Smith so I feel like some of my pictures didn't translate. But I just went on Google Images and looked for outfits that he wore that maybe looked like something I already owned and when I found this picture of him I was like, oh I have that outfit. So this is my Robert Smith look and I think if you show it to the party as Robert Smith, you are iconic and everybody will like you. Next, and this was seriously the easiest costume. The hardest part of this costume was collecting the props, which there are two of, two props total for this costume. And it is a rain jacket and a red balloon. Say it with me, Georgie. So I saw it with Rosie this year and it was super fun because I am a Bill Skarsgård stan through and through. So I thought everybody is probably going to be Pennywise this year and I just figured the Georgie costume was already so iconic. When I went to Party City and asked for the red balloon, like everybody already knew what I was talking about, but it was honestly so easy you could recreate this costume for a couple bucks and that's what i did taking these pictures were effortless because the costume makes itself it is already so ingrained in pop culture that you can really just show up to the party in the rain jacket and the red balloon with whatever makeup or no makeup you are already wearing and go for it i decided against getting the green uh rain boots just because i didn't think it was super necessary I think if you wanted to take this costume to the next level, you could like cut the sleeve off of the jacket and maybe just like have it bloody or whatever and just have your arm chilling inside of your jacket the rest of the night, almost to have the Georgie cut off arm. But you don't have to do that. You could be happy times, Georgie. Remember remembering the good times. So once you have one rain jacket, it just reminds you of another character, right? Patrick Bateman. Patrick Bateman is so iconic in my world. I watched American Psycho at a very young age, but it taught me to be refined. It taught me how to use the banned book list off of the internet. I wanted to capture the scene where he's listening to the radio and he puts on that clear raincoat and then he kills the guy with the ax. And it was, it was so easy to recreate I think if you wanted to nail this, like if you were in a costume contest or if you wanted to nail this for Instagram, the only thing I was really missing was a red tie. I raided my boyfriend's closet who has two nice shirts, one dress pants and one tie that he so adorably calls his court clothes. I don't think Patrick Bateman would be caught dead in a pale blue tie but I made it work because he does zip the raincoat all the way up to the top so you can barely see. So it really just depends on which frame of the movie you are recreating. But I think a red tie would have made this more obvious because a lot of people thought that I was the kid from that mukbang channel. But it's super iconic and once you have the ax, it makes all the difference. So one thing my boyfriend was good for was the ax, but if you don't have an ax, I think if you held a business card, it would be a really cute prop to have for the night. For my hair, I put my hair in a French twist, sprayed it with water, and then combed it back and picked it out of the bobby pins just to give it a little volume like Patrick Bateman. And then I put a highlighter on because Patrick Bateman's skin is precious and beautiful and he invented Korean skincare. So Bill Skarsgård stands rise up. This video is for you and me. I wanted to recreate the kid 
from Castle Rock, stream Castle Rock. Castle Rock is a series on Hulu. I feel like it's pretty underrated. Everyone I've talked to about it has not seen it or heard it. But if you have a couple days left in October before watching this movie, this video, and you have Hulu, I would really recommend streaming Castle Rock. It is so, so, so good and mysterious and cliffhangery. And if you like The Lost, it's better in f formulaically, I don't know. So I want it to be um, Bill Skarsgård's character. And I just love the Henry Deaver. So I attempted this by taking out my Patrick Bateman hair, re styling it with a center part and then pulling it back again. He has this like bad boy 90s haircut. So that was super easy for me because my bangs are grown out. So I was able to do that and just like sprayed my hair with water. I have a dark under eye circle. So whoever the makeup artist was for Castle Rock, <laughs> I woke up this way. So I just wanted to be looming and tall. So I put on some platform boots and just a flannel and kind of stood in a very looming way and even if he's not super recognizable at a costume party i think just trying to be a character that you personally really like in a show that might not be super popular amongst your friends is still pretty fun which brings me to wendy wendy is a style icon you can't convince me otherwise the Shining is such a good movie. I watched it when I was a kid, but I recently showed it to my boyfriend for the very first time and fell in love with it all over again. Looked really deep into fan theories now that we have YouTube and all of this stuff, deleted scenes. I think The Shining is such a good movie and it's, it's really long and confusing for the 11 year old who watched it originally, me. But I got older and I was like, Wendy is an icon and I'm, I'm not leaving my house ever again. Never going to the Poconos, they're haunted. But you can tell me that the outfits that she serves in this movie aren't amazing. So I wanted to try to be Wendy. I don't have a bat and I don't have a large knife in my house. So I was kind of strapped for props, but I did just grab a turtleneck and then she wears a green flannel over top and then she wears like coveralls. So in the movie, she's wearing like almost like a overall skirt or like an apron. And I just borrowed a pair of my boyfriend's coveralls. So I think that this could either be a really cute photo that you could take all year round, honestly. But if you wanted to be her for like your Instagram for Halloween, I think it was really easy to recreate. I don't have little bangs like her. I think that Wendy is a super cool character and a, you, there's a lot of ways to like, I think make her seem more iconic, especially if you had the bat or the knife or it could be a really cute couples costume. You could be Danny. But I really, I've always wanted to just like, I don't know, pretend to be here for five seconds. So that was a lot of fun for me. Finally, my favorite costume is kind of inspired by this like, I don't know if it was a Halloween costume, it was kind of just this image that was going around like two or three years ago of like a sexy no face. So I thought I would be a sexy Kadama, the forest spirit from Princess Mononoke. And I had so much fun with this. I feel like if there was a meme of the Kadama, it would be like, sometimes they thick though because some of them are just like dummy thick. So I wanted to be like a dummy thick version. So I wanted to get like a waist trainer. I've never had one. And I thought like, how can I like really like Kim Kardashian out this like Kodoma? And uh, I don't know if it exactly translated like exactly how I wanted, but I reached out to this company, Leonisa, for a, um, I guess a girdle, and they sent me one, which is really, really nice of them. It's my very first one. But I ordered this cream color full bodysuit, including fingers and toes, and really just felt super exposed in that. So the girdle was super helpful. And then I just created this mask and I just did that with cardboard and it was honestly so much fun. I think if you were going to wear this to a Halloween party, you could cut out the mouth and put 
pantyhose behind it and glue it so you could see through the mouth. Um, I didn't do that just because I knew I was making this costume just for a photo, which you know, there's no problem there. I have so many costumes to choose from this year. I just have always wanted to like recreate that sexy no face. And I was like, wait, what if I was this little, this little bean, but sexy. So that was my attempt. I wore these like chunky trainers just to have like a baddie kind of feel, baddie touch to the whole look. And I think it was super funny and I had a ton of fun. Anyway, let me know if this was helpful for you guys and if you are going to pick any of these Halloween costumes now or in the future. You know, sometimes it's just fun to get dressed up and get in the spirit for, you know, Instagram or Twitter. So I wanted to make costumes that were super easy super affordable and ones that I could kind of just marathon and I had a lot of fun. Except my room is total chaos right now, complete chaos. Happy to edit this and get a little bit of my space back, but I had so much fun. Let me know what your favorite costume is. Definitely subscribe if it's your first time here. Check out my Halloween playlist. I've been making Halloween content all month, but I've been on YouTube for many years and always try to serve for October. So definitely check it out. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Until next time, hit up my Instagram for all of the stills of all of these looks and I'll check you out. Bye.